cherubs. Oh, it's so marvellous to have you here with me in the art room today. And I'm so excited because we're going on an art adventure. Yes, my darlings, today we're going to be exploring value. Now we hear that word a lot and it can mean lots of different things. But in art, my friends, value is simply how dark or light something is. Hmm, I wonder how artists use value and why is it so important? Let's go and find out and explore some drawing. Ooh. Aha! Look at these two drawings, my friends. Both of the same objects and yet they are different. Can you see what's different about them? Yes, my friends. When I look at this one, I feel like I could reach in and pick those objects up. And when I look at this one, it just looks very flat. Let's look closely at what the artist has done. They've added light and dark tones. Yes, and I even noticed that there are some medium tones. We call that value. The artist has used value to help make their picture stand out to make the objects look three-dimensional. I wonder what they use to help them with this. I need a pencil. Oh! And I need some paper. Aha! Today, we're going to use shading techniques to show the dark and light values in our drawing. We'll need a pencil, an eraser, some paper, and a ball or sphere and a light source so that we can see where the light is and the dark is on our shape. To help an artist get familiar with all those different light and dark tones, they first start to draw a value scale. I start off by pressing really, really hard with my pencil and then gradually release my pressure until I'm whisper touching and creating the lightest lightest tones I can until I go into white. This type of shading is called blending but I'm going to show you how to do it with a scribble doodle. Look I'm going to go round and round and round really really hard and then gradually release the pressure until I go into my whisper touch until I'm at the white. In my value scale you can see all the different darks and light tones. I'm going to use this scale in a minute to look for the dark and light in my sphere. But first, I need to draw the circle shape. I'm going to hover like a helicopter, make my hand go round and round, and then land on my page when I feel my circle's ready. I've done it super lightly, my friends, so that I can erase if I'm not quite happy with my marks. I'm going to use my detective eyes to look for all those different tones now and try and match them with my scale. When I see a dark area, I'm going to use a very dark scribble. And then a medium area, I'll use a medium scribble. And then a light area, I'll use my light scribble. But when there's very, very light, I don't need to put any scribble at all. I can just use the white of the paper. Now I'm going to speed this up a bit, but you can take your time, my friends. Off we go!
you go, my cherubs. I've looked for the dark, medium and light tones. I've tried to match them with my value scale and I've added a shadow to make it look like it's sitting on a table. 2D to 3D magic. I've changed my circle into a wonderful sphere using my scribble doodle shading technique, showing all the light and dark values that I saw. Now it's your turn, my darlings. Doodle-doo!